Morning to all present here. Myself Anushka. Today I am here for a peer tutorial activity in English. So let's start. Hello students. Today we are going to start a new chapter, prepositions of time. So let's start the topic. Let's read the given sentence. School begins at 8 a.m. The preposition at is used to tell us the time when the school begins. Now the question arises. What is preposition of time? Prepositions that are used to tell us the time when an event or activity takes place are called the prepositions of time. Examples of preposition of time at, during, while, by, for and since are some examples of prepositions. There are many more but in this class I am going to explain you the six only. At the preposition of time at is used for a point in time. For example, we ate dinner at 6.30 p.m. So here, the family eats the dinner at a fixed time. The preposition of time during is used to tell the time when something is happening. For example, she learned painting during her summer vacation. Here, during is telling us that she learned the painting in her summer vacation. So, in that way, we can easily understand the preposition of time during. While, the preposition of time while is used to talk about an action which is taking place when something else happens. For example, while I was having breakfast, the phone rang. The preposition of time is used to donate the ultimate point by which something was or is to be completed. Example, I have to complete the work by Monday. So here the work needs to be completed by Monday only. By is also used with day and night where it means during. Example, he traveled by day and slept by night. Or the preposition of time for is used to tell the time duration of an event. Let us learn this with the help of an example. I am going to attend the school fair for three hours. Here, observe that the preposition for tells us the time duration of attending the school fair. The preposition of time since begins at a past time and continuing till now. Everyone, please note that since plus a point in time in the past. Example, I have played piano since I was 8 years old. Now, time for problem solving round. Here you all need to solve some fill-ups. These are the fill-ups. Start solving with the help of prepositions of time. Here is the answer key for the questions. I hope students you all are clear with the topic prepositions of time. Thank you everyone. I hope you all like my presentation.